हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज रिजवान यूसुफ वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ पेमेंट गेटवे पेपाल पेमेंट गेटवे इंटीग्रेशन इन ई एस पी डॉट नेट कोर दे आर ट्रू ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट वन वी विल साइन अप ऑन पेपाल एंड आफ्टर साइनिंग अप वी विल क्रिएट अ ऐप ऑन पेपाल आफ्टर क्रिएटिंग ऐप वील है सीक्रेट की एंड वी हैव टू Uh, we have two accounts uh, two sandbox two sandbox account first one is personal account and second one is business account merchant account and uh, we will have a secret key after uh, in the later part of the video we will use that secret key in asp.net code in order to integrate payment gateway in asp.net core and this okay let's get started it's very easy to create paypal account first we will open paypal website and after that we will click on we will hit the sign up button okay and here we have two option either we can create personal account or business account now we will select business account and hit the get started button okay here we will enter our email id and hit the next button here we will set our password and here we will tell our business type okay and hit the next button here we will type our basic information okay which is required in paypal in order to create account on paypal okay After writing the all information, we will check the agreement checkbox. here we will add some additional information and hit the next button
yes after adding the all information our account has been created successfully now we have a dashboard of our paypal account as you can see okay so we have successfully created paypal account okay next we will do we will create app on paypal account so in order to integration paypal account in as in asp.net core we have to create a app after creating the app we will have two account the first one is personal account second one is the business account and their password as well and the secret key as well that secret key we will use in asp.net core in order to integrate the paypal account in asp.net core okay so let's do the next step of this video okay after creating the paypal account now we will create app on paypal account and sandbox account on paypal okay as we discussed earlier we will create paypal account and after creating the paypal account we will create app on paypal account and sandbox account okay you can see the developer mode i will click on developer button or developer mode after clicking the developer mode you can see the interface looks like this okay welcome to paypal developer account here you can see api credential sandbox accounts api call dev documents web hooks and credit card generator dummy credit card generator this is interface for developer provided by paypal okay now we will click on app and credential button as you can see okay i will click on app and credentials button so when we create account on paypal the default application get created automatically as you can see the first application default application okay when we create a new account on paypal a sandbox default sandbox account automatically gets created as you can see so one app is gets created automatically and the two accounts sandbox account dummy account has been created successfully okay as you can see default business account and default personal account so if you want to use default one you can use the default application and if you want to new one for yourself i will create a app create app button in order to demonstrate how you can create a new app for yourself how you can create new app for testing okay i will name it new testing app merchant account and create app new testing app our app has been successfully created okay when the app is created when the app gets created now we have client id and the secret key okay when we will integrate paypal account in asp.net core we have to we will we will have to use this client id and secret key in order to integration for our integration 
विदाउट क्लाइंट आई डी एंड सीक्रेट की वी कैन नॉट इंटीग्रेट पे पाल अकाउंट इन एस पी टॉट नॉट फोर ओके सो दीज आर सैंड बॉक्स अकाउंट ओके एज वी डिस्कस अर्लियर सो टू अकाउंट हैज बी क्रिएटेड ऑटोमेटिकली वेन वी क्रिएट द पे पाल अकाउंट ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ न्यू वन जस्ट क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट अकाउंट here you will select either you can create personal account or business account i will create personal account the sandbox account created successfully okay you can see so these are the sandbox account personal account and business account these sandbox account we will use for sandbox testing in our asp dot and core application okay we will use client id secret id and these sandbox accounts personal account and business account in the upcoming videos okay that's it for today stay tuned and connected please subscribe the channel like and share the video thank you for hello everyone this is rizwan yusuf welcome to the second part of paypal payment gateway integration in asp.net core mvc okay what we saw in the last video we saw how we can create account on paypal how we can create app on paypal and how we can create sandbox accounts on paypal okay if you have not seen the last part of this video series i will strongly suggest please go and watch it first for the better understanding of this video okay what we will do in this video we will use the credentials of paypal in our asp.net core application as you know we have pet information management system we created this application few month ago you can also watch the tutorial how we can perform crud operation using asp.net core mvc okay on my youtube channel in this application this is the area where we will add buy now button okay and we will use paypal credentials like secret key client id in program.cs class and later part of this video we will add model model classes we will add model classes related to our project so these are the major objectives of this video okay let's do it in first step we will add paypal credentials in in the app settings.json okay we will click on app settings.json here we will add client id client secret key client secret and more as well okay okay we will set the mode attribute sandbox not live okay because we are testing 
because we are right now testing on sandbox account when we have a production account then we will set then we will set the value of mode attribute live not sandbox okay right now we will set sandbox now we will add model classes in our projects okay Okay, we will define the properties or attribute of this class PayPal client look like this. Okay, we have a constructor in this class and these attribute as well. We have a parameterized constructor. Okay, we will use this class in the later part of this video. Okay. Now we will set the credentials like client ID, client secret and mode in program.cs class. We will copy. And paste. And then we will copy. This one. And paste. Okay. We will change it like this, okay? Okay, now we will add two more model classes which we will use in the later part of this video, okay? This piece of code we will use in order to store the product item name and item rate in session in session attribute okay we will use in the we will use this piece of code in the later part of video now we will add the buy now button in our this view in our index view main view okay Controller. Action.
route ID, ESP route ID, which is pet ID. Okay. Prime B, and this is a style tag, and this is a style tag. Okay, here I will type by no, now we will run our application and uh, we will see the button on the next page, it is working as expected or not. So you can see buy no button. The code is working as expected. In the upcoming video, we will add card controller and checkout controller and the rest of the functionality will be done in the next video. Okay. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Hello everyone, this is Rizwan Yusuf. Welcome to the third part of PayPal Payment Gateway Integration in ASP.NET Core. What we saw in the last video, in the last video we added model classes, we added PayPal credentials like secret key, client ID and more in the program.cs class. And in app setting.json file okay this video is continuation of part 2 if you have not seen the last video i will strongly suggest please go watch it first for the better understanding of this video okay and you can download the source code from the given link in the description box of this video and please don't forget to hit the subscribe share and like button First, we will add card controller and its action methods like index method is exist edit by and remove. Okay, let's do it. I will call it as card controller. Now I will add dependency injection in our controller. You can also watch video on dependency injection which I have created some days ago. I will drop the link of that video in the description of this video. Okay, you can watch it. How we can implement dependency injection in ASP.NET Core. First we will create constructor of this controller by typing ctor and pressing by pressing tab button two time okay now we will change our index method index action method as you know we have two model classes first one is item and uh, we do not have attribute of item model class let's add the attribute of this model class first We need whole pet information. And the next one is quantity. Okay. Item model class. And we have session helper. 
class as we discussed in the last video this piece of code we will use in the later part of video so this is the right time to use this class session helper to in order to in order to store the selected product information in session variable okay was cut and we will name our session variable as cart okay and now we will add a cart variable cart variable information in view bag Okay. As you know, we use view back uh, to transfer data from controller to view. Okay, we will use these view back variables in our view in the later part of the video. Okay. Now we will add by action method in our card controller. Okay. first we will get the pet information by its id in first step we have got the pet information by its value and in second step we have checked the cart variable cart session variable either it has value or not
let's run our code and see is it working as expected or not it should add the value in cart session using session variable let's check it Okay, let's add view of action action method of the card controller. Okay. Hello everyone, this is Rizwan Yusuf. Welcome to the fourth part of PayPal Payment Gateway Integration in ASP.NET Core MVC. This tutorial is continuation of third part, last part of this video series. If you have not seen the last part of this video series, I will strongly suggest please go and watch it first for the better understanding of this video tutorial. Okay, what we saw in the last video, we created controllers in our project we created uh, we added model classes in our project we add buy no button in our index view main view and uh, we added uh, checkout and card functionality we added how we can store um, our information card information in sessions variable and uh, we have done lot of stuff in last videos okay in this video in this video we will complete our pending work related to checkout functionality and rest of the work will be done in this video so let's get started and now we will add checkout controller in our project okay As you know, we have PayPal client class and in this class, we have defined our attributes like mode, client ID, client secrets and base URL as well. And this class PayPal client, we will inject this class 
in this controller check out controller as dependency injection okay Now in this action method, index action method, we will get the card information which we have stored in the card variable of session variable. Okay, first we will get that information and, uh, and after that we will create a view on behalf of this action method and show that information on the view. Okay, let's do it. First, we will get information from session into this card variable and that card variable we will store in view bag. And we will multiply our price and quantity and get total amount and this total amount we will transfer from action method to our view. So now we will create our view. We will modify this empty view as first we will add a tag which is paypal button container okay and second we will add view bag value which is we are getting from our action method okay dollar amount Okay, this is dollar amount. Third, we will add our script section. Okay. And in this script section, we will add PayPal SDK, JavaScript SDK link as source, as you can see. Okay. And this is the ID key, client ID key. Now we will run our code and we will check is it working as expected or not. Okay. Now we will click on our checkout button. Okay, the code is working as expected and this is our amount. Now we will click on PayPal button and make our transactions. But before proceeding our transaction, we have to add some more classes and piece of code related to PayPal transactions, PayPal integrations, PayPal integration. Okay, I will just copy and paste. You can download the code in the description of this video. Okay, I will copy and paste in this class. Okay.
दीज क्लासेज आर रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक सक्सेसफुल ट्रांजेक्शन विद पे पाल ओके आई हैव एडेड ऑल द रिक्वायर्ड क्लासेस इन द पे पाल क्लाइंट क्लास यू कैन ऑल्सो डाउनलोड द होल कोड ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्ट विद डेटा बेस आई विल प्रोवाइड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो वी विल मेक अवर ट्रांजेक्शन एंड आफ्टर डैट वी विल सी वी विल लॉग इन इन पे पाल अकाउंट एंड वी विल सी द ट्रांजेक्शन फ्रॉम देयर ओके चेक आउट आई विल क्लिक ऑन पे पाल अकाउंट 